Hello, this is Dr. Linda Martinez-Louis. I'm a clinical expert on the narcissistic personality and author and psychotherapist. I offer in-depth analysis, strategies, and practices for those psychologically and emotionally harmed and abused by toxic, predatory, narcissistic personalities through my books, Recovering and Healing After the Narcissist, and Freeing Yourself from the Narcissist in Your Life, available at Amazon and many distributors, and international telephone consultations, and my podcasts. I put the emphasis on helping clients to access the calming, restorative parts of the parasympathetic body-mind systems that lead to healing, the evolution of the true authentic self, and the use of your many unique creative gifts. I want to speak with you about daughters of narcissistic mothers. You are not alone. When you are the daughter of a narcissistic mother, you feel like you are screaming underwater. Many daughters don't realize for years the truth about this woman who projects hatred onto you daily. If you are scapegoated in the family, your childhood is exceedingly harsh. You are at the mercy of a sadistic, cold mother. On the outside, there are acquaintances and friends of hers that think she is the best human being on the face of the earth. She is so devoted to her children, despite her outside career. She works constantly on this external image to make sure that everyone knows how wonderful she is. Inside the home, she is monstrous. Many of the narcissistic mothers try to annihilate their children mentally and emotionally and psychologically. They pit one child against the others. Others are cold and unexpressive. They never have a moment to speak to their daughters. They are busy rushing to work spending evenings completely out of touch with their children. Some daughters realize that things are really wrong in the household, but at the same time, they idealize their mother as a way of surviving and keeping themselves protected from the truth of her true nature. When we are little, we must do what we have to for survival purposes. There are daughters of narcissistic mothers who are always in conflict with her. They make efforts to stand up for themselves, but there is the narcissistic mother's revenge. These daughters then become a constant target of target of scorn, recriminations, and threats. Mother promises that she will help her daughter, for example, to go to school, to go to college, and at the last moment, she pulls out saying that she simply can't do it. This is an all-out form of revenge against her daughter. And, and often, these, mo- these non-mothers are jealous of their daughters. And so, the daughter is subjected to horrendous cruelties. Often, the mother picks one daughter whom she targets for the worst abuse. I have known these daughters, and they have weathered horrible abuse, daily intimidations and humiliations. She constantly undermines this daughter, telling her that she is ugly, that she even smells, that no one is really her friend, and that they are pretending to really like her, when in fact, they can't stand her. that she is not bright enough to go to college, that she has no talents, and on and on, endlessly undermining this child. There are daughters of narcissistic mothers that say, enough, and leave their households early. This is very difficult, but they find other family members who can be of some assistance to them at times. Sometimes families of their friends will help them with support, And then there are the daughters that do it all on their own. They leave home. They find a place in the world. They also find whatever education they need or training, and they become independent, which is simply remarkable, especially when this happens when they're quite young. And I have heard from many of these adult daughters who have simply done this because they could no longer remain in these homes from hell. 
Whatever stage of dealing with your narcissistic mother you are in, I congratulate your courage and fortitude. You know the truth. You are a fine human being. Your mother is a severe personality disorder. You have prevailed. You are free. Fly and glide like the monarch butterflies who complete their migration over three generations and thousands of miles. So beautiful, so determined, so wonderful. Remember to always put yourself first. And also, always remember that you are a unique, precious, talented, creative, strong at the core individual. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Healing After the Narcissist, and go to my website, thenarcissistinyourlife.com. You can purchase one of my books, either Freeing Yourself from the Narcissist in Your Life or Recovering and Healing After the Narcissist. You also can sign up for a telephone consultation as well on that page. I look forward to speaking with you in the very near future.